Well morning guys, it's Richard here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're off to Penshurst Place to see the Volkswagen World um, uh, car show. It's already been going since Friday, so today's Sunday and Penny and James are coming with me today, which is great news. So we're going off in convoy uh, all the way of down there. The weather today should be okay. We've had quite a lot of wind, high winds and rain, but today is supposed to be um, sort of moderate wind, but no rain. So I'm really looking forward to it and um, got me sat and half all set up. Uh, just before then, I thought perhaps I'd just update you a couple of things as well. Uh, I've now had the uh, voltmeter fitted uh, and also the fire protection unit. So I'm just going to show you that on camera. Let me just show there, where are I? There we go. So just down there you can see the voltmeter and I'll put a picture on the uh, so you can see that more close up. This is this checks the state of the battery and it's always very it's good to know that the the dial next to it will be where the oil pressure gauge will go. But it's on back order with just campers. So um, that's coming soon. And the most important thing that we've had fitted by my mechanic Craig is that we've got fire protection fitted on the. Say hello to James and uh, Penny. There they are doing a lot of polishing this morning on the on the VW Bug. So in here we've got the um, fire protection. There. there you can see that the fire extinguisher. This is very important because even today on the Volkswagen Camper Forum. Uh, it's very sad to see that one of the campers caught fire and it's destroyed the vehicle altogether. So this will stop that happening. If it, heaven forbid, it, there should be a fire in the engine bay, but hopefully that won't happen uh, as well. So yeah, so we're we're really all ready to go, and uh, lots of polishing going on here, guys. So um, just a last minute polish off before we set off on our 45 minute journey. Hopefully, weather being okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to start up Sunshine now and uh, see how we get on. So, there we go, there's no like jerking of that. So, let's just, uh, all right, let's see where we're going. We've got plenty of petrol. There we go. And if I show you the gauge here, we can see that we've already. Oh, I can put it down here yeah, probably. There we go. Over 12 volts, which is what your good healthy battery should be. On there. There we go. So right, so once we're ready to set off, I will get back to you. Right, we're off then guys. Get the
Well guys, we've arrived at Penthouse Place. Slight detour. Uh, I didn't film much of it because um, it was, uh, I was concentrating on the road because there's been a closure for the Tunbridge Bypass today, being Sunday. So we had to come via uh, a few other villages and uh, yeah, quite windy as well. And this, I've noticed that when there is a lot of breeze about, you certainly hear it, it feels like you're in a wind tunnel sometimes because of the, you know, because of the fact that the wind blows it through all the, all the crevices in this wonderful van. But we have arrived and uh, we're in the show and shine section of the uh, show today. This has been the last day, Sunday. And uh, yeah, so we're lots to go on. Penny and James have just gone to get some breakfast because they started out very early. As you saw, they, they were busy polishing uh, Ojo before they came out. He's actually literally parked next to me. I'll probably be able to show you that actually. Here we just turn the camera around and see him. So there we are, through the glass. And I'm parked next to a very nice T2 uh, camper. But there's lots to see here, lots to see here. So um, yeah, so no doubt I shall be doing plenty of that. But um, yeah, so uh, it's a cool, I think there's about 20, is it 22 degrees today uh, here. Um, and yeah, no, no problems at all. Um, as I say, quite the uh, sort of country lanes sort of make it a bit bouncy when you're going along but otherwise yeah quite pleasant I uh, would like to have had the wind drop a bit really because when it is nice the sun comes out it's really nice driving along these country lanes but we are here now at Penshurst Place we're not near the house we're at the other side of the estate because obviously there's more land there so um, yeah as soon as um, anything comes back uh, James and Penny are just oh look there they are just having a quick look around one of the beetles look there we go you can just see them there there we go, yeah. They were looking for some street food earlier. Don't know if they found it or not, but uh, we've got lots to see today. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it'd be great, it's great. So hopefully show you lots of stuff going on. And uh, we'll, I'll catch up with you very soon. So yes, okay. See you soon. So guys, I've put the new curtains up and you can see they're looking really good. I'm using this pattern uh this vintage car pattern here uh and i'd like to pay tribute to gina who's made these curtains for me and they really do work well it's been quite a interesting one putting all the little hooks back on again and then um getting them in the right place as you can see so and uh, i just show you here on here there is these little hooks which um aren't the easiest thing to thread on to the tape so and then of course you have to get it all in the right place so uh, but i think i had to use different we had to use different patterns cause, but i think it works all right actually i think it works all right so let me know what you think because a lot of the time the curtains are tied back anyway but you can see oh and by the way i found this uh, AA badge came into the shop the other week so I've cleaned it up and I've fixed it to the front balance there um, had to find some new screws because underneath here there's a big flap that come that flaps up and down which allows air into the cabin so but it does work so yes and I thought the colors match there's almost the same yellow but it's a AA yellow but I thought it set it off quite nicely there and it fits just in that space just in that space nicely so uh, anyway, just saw a quick update there. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. See you later. So inside, yeah, with the doors closed and with all the curtains drawn, which I know I haven't got just, it's quite dark in here. So you imagine at night, you'd be all right to sleep in here. You see the window there and you see the difference there. I can see my, the cable from this uh, dash cam I've got put back. So, but yeah. And they really, Gina's done a really good job because the dis, the, I gave them, I gave it a bit of extra length, so there was like another inch, so it would come down below because the van obviously curves, so you need to make sure the curtains are below that. So I think, all in all, it's brilliant. So yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd show you what it's like. Okay. Just to say, I've made my first coffee 
on the not on the actual stove. I brought the camping stove that I took on when I went to Yorkshire, and you've seen that before. Um, here we go, look. There it is, and it sits quite nicely on top of the original stove setting, which is here. There we go. It does work. Caligas does all work, but I thought it'd be easier just to fix it on there, just for the today, anyway. Here we go. So here we are at the uh, Penshurst Place. Vault's world and I'm with James and Penny. So far, what do you think? Yeah, looking yeah, it's good. Really good. Yeah. Lots of nice cars here. Uh, we've got our Beetle behind us. Yes. Also got your van as well. Yeah. So we're in the uh, show and shine. So we think that means we might be in a competition of some kind. <laughs> we're not sure, but we think so, don't we? Yeah, we haven't yeah. really done much to go to no. Wardy, but we kind of rocked up and see what happens, I guess. Yes, <laughs> and, yeah, and the weather stayed fine, thank, thank goodness. So yeah, so you've got your beetle here, let's have a look. So looking good, here we are. So there we go, have you seen before folks on the channel, so that's good news. And sunshine's here, I've got the top up this time. So um, just to show that we are here, if you get lost here, you can just look out for the orange and brown, I suppose, you know, so on the, uh, on the Moonraker, so that's good. Next door to a guy who's really helpful. Unfortunately, the window of my van has decided to uh, drop down. I managed to get it up, but there's still a gap, so I need to have a look at the runners inside there when I get home. I brought some duct tape just to stop it leaking. So, well, so yes, so, okay, just to give you a higher view of this. Go. And we'll have a look at a few vans, shall we? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Right. Excuse the music in the background. I'm sure we won't get a copyright strike for that. Jack Daniels, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a bar. It's a cave registration, orange beetle. It's interesting where they put the wing mirror on that one, James. It's actually on the door. Yeah, on the hinge. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah.
There we go. So yes, it's the T1. Very nice. Very smart. This is a traditional T2. Very nice carpets and under tray there. Nice wooden steering wheel. Very smart. Nineteen sixty-seven. I think that's an e reg so, yeah, I've got the side step on here as well. I can get. Uh, I did think about getting one of those for mine. blue one there. This is a thing. Left hand drive. So, Big enough. This one here has got a very nice truck on the back. So almost like a 1968, I think, G registration. Got side mirrors here. James? Side mirrors? I'm very worried about Woody and Buzz hanging on the back here. <laughs> yes, that's because from the film, isn't it? Yeah.
when you arrive. Sale. Very nice, convertible, people. Can't really see the, oh, can't, it's 30 something on the clock, but that's, it's very smart. Cool job, it says here. If you're interested, you can stop the video and you can have a look. There you go, give them a ring. That one over there is for sale. Have a look, shall we? 11,000. Hello guys, I just suddenly realised I hadn't done an outro video this afternoon when we got back from Penshurst Place, which was an amazing event. I have to say, I have really thoroughly enjoyed the time we spent there. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing some of the photographs and also some of the commentary that we put there. Um, it wasn't, a, a extre uh, wasn't an um, extremely large show, but um, what we did see and the people we spoke to um, it was it was an amazing day out, and the weather stayed fine. The um, the uh, rain stayed off. It was quite blowy going, I have to say. 
um, and um, I could see the trees and, and it felt like I was in a wind tunnel some of the time because I had the side windows open in the van here. But um, I met uh, one of my YouTubers, I don't know what his name is, but um, he came up to me when we were sitting on the grass after lunch. We'd had this really nice um, uh, lunch, um, mixed meat and um, uh, like a, a wrap thing that we had. And then we afterwards we had a very nice ice cream um, and um, he came up to me and said that he'd seen my my last video, the one, the intro video, to say I was coming to Penshurst Place and that he really thoroughly enjoyed that and that he was looking to buy a Volkswagen Beetle and that um, he'd worked for a classic car magazine. I think it was a classic car magazine. So I didn't get his name. If you're that person, thank you so much for the conversation that we had. And also, if you are, would like to subscribe, please do so. I'd love to have you along as a subscriber and perhaps comment. And um, I also met lots of other people. The chap next to me, the vehicle next to me, the the um, T2 next to me, he was very helpful because the window, the passenger window, has suddenly decided that it was going to drop down inside the slot and then I managed to pull it back and uh, he made some suggestions of what that might be and we had a conversation about that. Also, um, uh, you know, other people that we met, um, James and Penny met, talking about Beatles. So the actual interaction with other members of the public that were there with their vehicles was really good and I thoroughly would recommend that show. It's it's smaller than some of the larger shows that you can go to, like Santa Pod that James and Penny are going to this week coming, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it and the d journey was not too far away. It only took me about 40 minutes um, down country lanes through Lee, through Shibham and through Borough Green and then Rootham and then back down the A25 past West Morning and back into Maidstone which is where I live. So um, it really was a good day but anyway thank you very much for coming along on the journey. Do subscribe, do subscribe if you haven't already. Do comment and also push the like button. And also don't forget the little bell, as they say, so you know when I'm next uploading. But it's been a marvellous day and the van's been really behaved very well and um, thoroughly enjoyed my time. Anyway, until the next one, all the very best and see you very soon. Take care. Hi guys, If uh, just to let you know, if you'd like to have one of these amazing posters of sunshine, and I know one of my YouTubers have already, have already done that, uh, Neil, so I'll be in touch soon. Then please let me know and um, yeah, in the comments below. See you soon. Take care. Bye.